Now, the next thing we have to do is build out our landing page that we will send people to that are interested in purchasing our course. So we would do that on the top right here where it says build landing page. But before we do that, we have to go and choose a theme. So we're gonna go uh, actually out of the menu here by going to the top left, clicking on the little cross uh, icon. And that will take us back into our dashboard where you can see now that we have created this new course called YouTube Ranking Academy. And it's also published because we have already um, published the course. Let's go to design your site. And here we're gonna click on theme library because Thinkific has a couple of themes and what you want to do is kind of decide on a theme that fits your branding, maybe the type of your course that you're doing and then you want to make it um, through, you want to keep the same theme throughout the course. So I'm going to click on explore themes right here and you have uh, three different main themes and then in each theme you have also different options. So this is the, the default theme, the empire theme, so you could check that out here. This is basically what the pages will look like with that theme. I think it looks pretty good actually. You could also check out this color, the jet one, or maybe the spark. So as you can see, um, a lot of different themes, um, but maybe let's, uh, let's check out the vision theme here. This is also a cool theme. So let's say I want to go with that theme. So what I'm going to do is click on install vision here on the bottom. Click on yes, copy my content. Got it. And then it, it will install a new theme. Now, also you can just leave it at empire if you want to, but um, I just wanted to show you that you can actually choose different themes here on Thinkific. Then we want to go to my themes here on the top. And as you can see here, the empire is still, is still published, the published theme. So what we're going to do is go to the three dots here, or actually, no, we just hover over this and then we click on publish again, publish, and then it will actually change the theme to the new theme vision that we have just um, installed. And now that we have set up our theme, we can go back to our landing page builder. So we're going to go again to manage learning content here. We go to courses. Then we're going to go to the course that we have created before YouTube ranking Academy. And now we can actually go to the top right and click on build landing page. Now we are inside of the page builder of Thinkific, which is a very simple page builder that we're going to use to build out our landing page for our course that we have just created. And later on, we can also use that page builder to build a dedicated kind of website for all of the courses that we have on Thinkific. Now, um, this is kind of similarly built like a website. So you have the header here, you have the footer on the bottom and you have different sections in the middle. So right now we have the banner section, which is just the title of our course and then the curriculum, which just shows the content of our course, which is automatically taken from our course content. Um, here at the top, you can also change to mobile view um, if you want to see how it looks like on a mobile phone or full screen mode. Um, we're just going to go through it from top to bottom and then we're going to just change some things to make it a high converting landing page. Now, um, first we're going to go into to theme settings here and we just want to uh, kind of decide on a general style of our landing page. So go to style here and then just f uh, experiment with different styles. So let me click on focus. I think it's already in focus right now. So let's check out the tempo. Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. So I'm going to go to Thrive and just choose the one that looks the best to you. I'm just going to go with Focus because I thought that looks the best in my opinion. And then once you have decided on a style, you can also go into the colors right here and then just change some colors that you think are working better with your brand. So what you can do is maybe we go to the uh, primary button. So let's make this maybe... Uh, a green or maybe this is a YouTube course so I'm going to make it red and I can also copy this this code this color code here and then change it to maybe also text and links um, let's maybe do this you can just experiment around a bit and you can see exactly what changes okay that's a bit weird actually so discard go back and yeah, just experiment out with the colors and then um, just make it kind of fitting to your brand. Then you can also go to typography and maybe change the fonts of your landing page. 
I'm just going to leave it as it is to save some time here. And then the favicon is what you will see on the top of the browser. So right now you can see the favicon of Thinkific right here. Um, and we want to actually change that to something that is either your logo of your business or your brand, or maybe something that has to do with your course. So let me upload an image that is for this YouTube course. I just have this image from, I think it's called flaticon.com is where you can uh, just simply download um, such little logos. So I'm going to upload this. And then um, let me quickly show you how this looks like. So now here on top, you will see this is the favicon. So now it says it has like a YouTube icon here on the top. And then let's go back here. So that's everything we're going to do in the theme settings. Now we can go back to pages and we can start um, customizing each section of the page. So first we're going to go to the header here. And first of all, we can add a logo if you want to. So let's go to logo, upload image. Then I'm going to choose, let's say this logo right here, upload. And then you can also change the size, maybe make it, I think the size is pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it. You can see the logo right here. Then uh, you can also make this logo a link, so when people click on the logo, they will go to, let's say, a the course page. And then the style. This is the style of the header, so you could say that you, wanna, you want the header to disappear when people scroll down uh, like this, or... I would just make it sticky so that people can always see the header because it just makes it easier to kind of navigate through your landing page. And then you also have links. So right now there's one link to all courses. Personally, I would remove this link because I only have one course and I'm not even going to use the, the page where I host all the courses. But you could also add more links. So let's click on add link and maybe add a link to my YouTube channel. So let's type in YouTube, YouTube. And then select a destination, uh, let's say custom custom URL, and just type in HTTPS, and then I'm gonna type in the link to my YouTube channel, Maddox Media. So just like that, let's open it in a in a new window, and make sure you save it. And now we can see we have a new link here on the header. So you can add as, as many links as you want to. So that's pretty much it for the header. Let's go back here. Then let's go to the banner, which is the main hero image here of our page. So first, let's go to headings and change the heading from automatically add course name and description which is actually fine right now. You could also change it if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave it as it is because that's exactly what I want the header to say, the name of the course, and also learn how to rank you, uh, videos on the first page of YouTube search. And the size, maybe make it a bit bigger like this. And obviously want to change the hero image. So let's go to hero image, click on upload. And personally, I have this image from pexels.com. Uh, where you can get uh, copyright free images. So I've just downloaded this that is related to YouTube and you can just upload that here and then it will change the hero image to this specific image. All right, cool. So now if you notice that your text isn't really popping, what you can do is set the overlay color, the overlay color to, to black and then just lower the opacity of the, the image here and then it will just uh, be or actually increase the opacity, sorry, and then it will um, make it darker, and then this will pop a bit more, but then the buttons will be darker. So yeah, you just have to experiment around a little bit. You can also change the, the, the font to maybe black, and then you make the background brighter, and so on. Then picture in picture is something that I think is very interesting because you can add a picture uh, on the top of the banner, or in the banner here, or you can also add a video, which is something that I would do personally. So what we can do is use a video from maybe the library. Let's lose the first lecture. Obviously, you would maybe create a video specifically for your landing page to kind of um, talk to your visitors and tell them what the course is about. Because to be honest, most people now online, they like to, to watch videos um, more than just to read. So you can add a video here, which I think is very cool. Then social links is also something you can add if you want to just... Um, find the icon here so you could type in Instagram Instagram and then put your link here and then it will add 
the social link somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, and then let's move on, size and alignment. I'm just gonna leave it at the left side. I think that works well. And you could also add buttons, but I'm just gonna leave it at that, click save. And that's it for the banner. Now what I'm gonna do is, let's go to a cur cur curriculum and um, it automatically recognizes what course this landing page is for. So here we can just leave it as it is, maybe change the, the heading to here's what's in the course. We don't need the subheading, center, that's good. Layout, um, top, uh, that's good. And uh, let's go back. And now we have already set up those two sections of our landing page. Now what we can also do is maybe add a description of the course. So let's click on add section here. And then let's see, let's, let's go to maybe just text text and media, let's check out text and media. And then it will add a new section. So let's see how this looks like. Okay, so let's take this and then just put this maybe just under the banner. So here we can just adjust this. So here you can just give a little description for your course and maybe change the heading as well to why this is the best course ever. Something like that and then um, Obviously you want to change all the text here. Then let's maybe also add um, an in a bio for you, for the instructor. People want to know about you, the instructor. So let's add a, maybe a text with an image, image with text like this. And let's see. Okay, so here for the image, I'm going to upload an image of myself upload image and let's upload this image, upload. Then I'm gonna just decrease the size of the image a bit and like this. And then I'm gonna change the text. So I'm gonna make this about um, meet your teacher. We don't need the subheading and then description and say something like I've been um, on YouTube since blah, blah, blah. And then they can read a little bit about the teacher. And then I would also add an FAQ section. So let's type in frequently, frequently asked questions. And that would just come right under the about me section. So here, what you can do is just go to these questions here and just type in a question and then type in the answer right here and then that should answer people's most frequently asked questions. Now you could also add testimonials. So um, let's go back here, add new section, and let's type in testimonials, social proof. All right, let's click on testimonials. And here, what you wanna do is just add images, maybe of people that have already taken your course. What you can do is also like give out your course for free to a couple of people and then ask them, all you ask in return is maybe an honest testimonial. And then just go to testimonial, upload an image. Let's see if I have one. I think I have prepared one here. So add an image of your, uh, actually it doesn't work because it's too large. So just add an image of your student here if they agree to do that and then type in the testimonial right here because that really helps with actually um, converting your visitors into new customers. And then on the bottom, I would also add uh, another call to action. So let's go for, uh, let's type in text, um, text with call to action. And then we really wanna make them actually buy the course. So let's change the text to maybe, um, what are you waiting for? <laughs> or um, get more views now. And then don't need a subheading, let's delete that. And change that to, again, tell them why the course is so beneficial to them. Then the button, this is the call to action to actually send them to the checkout page. So select destination, this is the checkout page. Choose a product, this is YouTube Ranking Academy with the default price and call to action will be uh, enroll now. And that's it. So once we are finished setting up our landing page and we have saved everything, again, make sure on the bottom left you click save whenever this pops up here. 
that we want to go back and maybe preview this landing page and see how it looks like for somebody that's just visiting our landing page. So once everything is saved, go to the top left and close out of this builder here. And then again, close out of this course menu. That will take us back to the dashboard. And what we want to do is click on design your site on the left side, click on preview website. And that will take us to the main website where all of our course courses are. Now we haven't made any design changes to this page now. What we want to check is the landing page. So we're going to click on this course. And so we can see how the landing page looks like for somebody who isn't enrolled yet. We're going to just copy the URL. Uh, right click copy and then I have opened up a new browser and I just paste it in here and then I can see it exactly how it will look like for a new visitor. So right now we have this video that's playing automatically. This is great. We have a buy button right here and people click on the buy button. They will get to the checkout page. Then they can in enter their name, uh, email address, password and then they will be uh, once you click sign up they will be taken to the uh, part where they can enter their credit card information or um, pay with PayPal and then they can purchase the course. Then this is the best course ever, curriculum, meet your teacher and so on. Awesome. Make sure this button works as well here. Perfect. Now we are pretty much finished setting up our landing page. What we can do now is also set up uh, like the website that is specific for kind of hosting all of our courses. Uh, kind of what you saw right here. Now, if you only have one course, I would actually not even use this page. If you have only one course, what I would do is I would go to Site Builder right here and then I would go to Home Page and I would click on Redirect and then select, select the destination to a course and select your course that we have just created. So YouTube Ranking Academy. And now people who are going to your Thinkific URL will be redirected directly to your one course. And that makes sense if you only have one course. If you have multiple courses, then I wouldn't redirect here. I would just build out this page as well. And I'm actually not gonna go through that because it's basically the same thing as building out a landing page. You just add sections, you click on the sections and then, then you make all of the changes. So that's basically how you can also build your site. But let's say I want to redirect because I only have one course. So I'm going to redirect to a course page and select YouTube Ranking Academy. And then I don't even have to worry about this uh, page here. Make sure you click Save on the bottom. And then we can also close out of this site builder.